do err from the truth, and one converted him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his ways shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. How do you convert somebody from their sin, from, from death unto life? And what? Rebuking them. Correcting them according to the scriptures. See what I'm saying? Because when you show somebody the error of their ways through the word, they have no choice but to accept it. If they're wise, they will take heed and come back to the Lord. Just like we did when we was in our two-thirds state of mind. When you see what I'm saying? The Lord showed us what? Our elders, our apostles, we took heed to the word to look where we at now. We took heed to the wise counsel. Right. See what I'm saying? Well, I'm, only the elect is going to get it anyway. That's right. You know, this, this is for the elect, man. The, uh, the one-third from Israel. So, so everybody's not going to get this truth, man. That's why That's why I say you got to try to spirit by the spirit. You, you, can, you can talk to somebody until you're blue in the face, but some of them just not going to get it, man. You can try to show, you can read them a thousand scriptures, man. Show them a thousand different ways. They still not going to get it, man. You can break it down to a little kid uh, term. Uh, some of y'all are not smarter than a fifth grader, man. You're not going to get it. This is for the elect, bro. Right. Uh, uh, so, so now it, it, it's, it's, it's time for us as Israel to uh, stop going after these uh, two-third ass niggas, man. Pardon my friend, bro. Are you good? But see the thing about it, even some of those two-thirds are still part of the elect. They got to get this truth. If it's meant for them to get it, they're going to get it. Oh, said, but but they, we still got to teach to the people. That's right. Because some of them two-thirds are of the elect. We were once in that crowd. You see what I'm saying? Even though it's only for the elect, but still, because you still got some of the elect in these churches. You get what I'm saying? Because the scripture tells you, a lot of them is going to come in in that last hour. You know what I'm saying? So some, some of them, you're going to have to read the scripture to them. 400 or 500 times, and they may get it on that 500 and first time. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't gonna take heed immediately as we did. Some of us took to it like fish to water. Some of us, some of them didn't. It took them a while because it's, it's, it's a process because they've been so indoctrinated into this world. You see what I'm saying? That it's gonna take them a little time. Like the brother said, if it's meant for them, see what I'm saying? That's why we come out here in the highways and byways. We gotta push this word out. Like the scripture say, my sheep will hear my voice. It may, it, and it's gonna be one of them two thirds that's gonna hear his voice. You see what I'm saying? Because we still gotta teach this truth until the end. That's when everything is gonna be finalized. Is when the end comes. That's how you're going to know who is the men of the Lord and who is the, the two-thirds. You, you see what I'm saying? Especially when Jacob's trouble happened. Because you got a lot of brothers, even in the truth, that you think of men of the Lord, but all hell break loose, they're going to fold. They're going to they gonna sell, sell the Lord out. They're going to take that chip. See what I'm saying? That's why we all got to pray that we're of the elect. Right. You see what I'm saying? We don't know. We sit here and pray now that we're of the elect. Right. We can't say that we're of the elect. We don't know. That's right. Man. We pray that the Lord keep his spirit on us to endure to the end. The Lord could just be using us temporarily to bring in some more brothers. We pray that that don't happen, but that's just the truth of the matter. You see what I'm saying? Ain't none of us secure in this right now. That's right. Man. You know, so even a two-thirds, we still got to give them the truth until that final day. When all hell break loose, then we're going to know, then, like the Lord said, then you're going to know who my men are. See what I'm saying? Because you got, you know, man, we see it time and time again, man. We see a lot of people that we thought was men of the Lord, boy, got to fall out the truth. They're coming against the men. We're seeing that right now. Everybody that's coming against Great Millstone now was part of Great Millstone. You know what I'm saying? Well, mighty speakers, you know what I'm saying, the new thousands of precepts, see what I'm saying, but then, what, they turn their back on the Lord, and now they spewed out the truth, we fighting to stay in this fight, man, right. you see what I'm saying, we scratching, trying to survive, to stay under the good graces of Yahweh, by Shimei, with Shai.
you know? But like the brother said, which was the, uh, of, of the uh, excellent point, it is only for the elect, but we don't know who the elect is. That's right. We don't even know if we part of the elect. That's right. That's why we got to continue doing our job to try and uh, get our seat on the chariot, man. Right, man. Well, like what David said, don't, uh, he prayed that uh, he don't remove his Holy Spirit from him, That's man. right. That's what we should be praying, man. Please, you have a bar, shimmy, have a shot. Don't remove your Holy Spirit away from you, man. That's right. Because it's not, uh, uh, you don't know if it's locked. See, you don't know if you're in the book. You don't, you don't know that, man. That's right. That's right. That's why we, we all, like Paul said, we got the hope of salvation. Oh, oh, right. You know, we hope and praying, man. You yeah. know, that's right. We, we, what is it? We prayer with all supplication, I mean, earnestly right. begging. Right. You know, I mean, we go off constantly, man. You know, but we're praying that the Lord have mercy upon us, man. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Man, you could never say that word enough, man. You know what I'm saying? We're praying that the Lord have mercy to find something worthy in us to deliver us about this hellhole, man. That's right, man. We ain't trying to burn up here in, in Babylon, man. We ain't trying to burn up here in America. We ain't trying to be with you two-thirds that's destined for destruction. We praying that we not destined for destruction. Right, man. Even though we teaching this truth, you know what I'm saying, that we surrounded by the beautiful brothers, we still praying that what? Our lot is not to burn in this bitch, man. Right. We praying that our lot is what? To get delivered by your house by Shimmy was shot. Even if we got to die, man. Wow, man. This demon caught the bug just to go to the end of the block to walk she back. Never let on. She, huh? never got on. she never got on. She held him up all that time. Wow. See? We praying that we not out here fighting demons in vain, man. See what I'm saying? Right, man. Man. This... this Road to your how about shooting me out with shot is not easy, man. But it's worth the struggle. It's worth the fight. Cause why? We know we got a greater, greater reward, man. Right. You know, and that's why it's important to be there for one another, to comfort one another, to even to rebuke one another, to keep us on that on that straight and narrow, man. Right. You know, that's the ultimate form of love, man. You know. Y'all brothers, you got something? Yeah, I got something. Go ahead, bro. Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and 5. <clears throat> it is said, It is better to hear rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear a, the song of fools. That's right. It's better. Why is it better to hear the rebuke of the wise? Because why? That gives you salvation, man. The rebuke of the wise gives you what? Correction. The rebuke of the wise give, them, give you what? More wisdom. More understanding, more knowledge of the word. See what I'm saying? That's why it's better to hear the rebuke of the wise, man. That's right, bro. Then to hear the song of what? Of fools. Fools. Fools don't care what they spew out their mouth. They just say whatever they want to say. Don't hold no regard of their tongue. Because the scripture tells you, he that uh, he that keepeth his tongue is considered wise, man. You see what I'm saying? I was about to say, uh, uh, scripture also say, be swift to hear and uh, uh, slow to speak, speak man. You know, so you, you got to watch what you say, too, man. That's right. Y'all, some of y'all just coming off the block talking about the apostles and the elders. Man, you ain't going to be doing all that, man. Yeah. This life is real, man. You see what I'm saying? This word is real, man. Right. Man, you how about Shimeo Shah is so wonderful, man. Like we said, he always brings his scriptures to life, man. We face these demons every day. Even on our job, we face demons. See what I'm saying? But this is part of that fiery trial, man. Right. The, the Lord wants you to actually put your money where your mouth is. You say you love him, well prove it. Show me that you love him. See what I'm saying? Are you willing to go through this hell to prove that you love me? There you go. 
can't just be out here week in and week out. I don't think you're not gonna go through that, man. That's right. You know, I see the the uh, apostles and elders going through the same thing that um, our angel, our forefathers went through, man. That's right. The same exact thing. People coming against them, talking about them, probably wanting to kill them, all that kind of stuff. Man. Ain't no problem to it. That's how you know these are the ancient men that walk with you have a shot, man. That's how you know, man. They, like the brother said, we all going to see that judgment. He almost got his car tore off. <laughs> it was a split second away, man. We all facing persecution, man. That's how we know that we in this truth, man. Because when we was in, in the world, when we was in the church, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't going through hell like this. I mean, we go through our little day-to-day -day struggles. Even when we was homeless, it wasn't that hard to deal with. It was hard to deal with. It, but it wasn't that hard. Now we good, bro. Now we good. Appreciate it, though. Come on. No, we, it ain't that cold out here. We good. But I went and bought it. Come on, we got the soul you guys. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. You don't got it. Give somebody else. Thank somebody you. else. Oh, take it from me. Don't drink. Yeah. Thanks. 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 You preaching the Bible, man. Reverse. King James. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. Well, hey, man. Thank you. Thank you guys are. No, you too. You got yeah. channel? Yeah, it's called Hebrew Israelites. I'll give you some love. Yeah, it's called Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Spice, I didn't, uh, <laughs> you know, it's good. Next week, you know, <laughs> Uh, Hebrew? Yeah, Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, type, type in, uh, yeah, Hebrew Israelites. You can, you can type in uh, Great Millstone if, if you want to, you know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll see on there Hebrew Israelites. Prophetic warning for black Hebrew Israelites? Yeah. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're just Hebrew Israelites. No, that is, there's a title. Yeah. It's a movie. Is that you? Untold Black Hebrew Israelites History? Is that you? No, no, that's not us. What was the other thing you told me to search? Uh, type in Great Millstone. Great? Yeah, G-R-E-A-T-M-I-L-L -L -L Stone. Uh-huh. You too? Yeah. It's us as well as... Main camp? Yeah. All right, okay. All right, don't get in trouble out here. Oh, we ain't, we, we trying not to, bro. All right, appreciate it, man. Yeah. He had a good spirit about himself, you know. Bro, that's hot chocolate. Hey, that's cool. Why do you have about shimmy out a shot? I seen it when you rolled by. Go ahead, bro. Bring it out. Uh, you said the fruits of the mouth. Yeah. Because I, cause I seen it when you passed by. Look, you know. Hey, see? That man. The Lord is wonderful, man. That's how you know when you're doing the right thing, man. Because he put the spirit on, on certain people to, to go and do things for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, he's Jake. Yep, he's Jake. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you. This is, uh, that's a Proverbs. Proverbs 13 and... Proverbs 13 and 2. It says, a man shall be good... A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. And how we and how we eating good? We're eating what? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this word. Because the Bible refers to, to the word refers, I mean, uh, the Bible refers as meat, wine, milk, honey. You know what I'm saying? That's food. Right. Water. You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 that fruit is, is, is talking about what? This word, man. Right. This is what we eat. It says, but the mouth of the soul of the, of the Transgress yourself, eat, shall eat violence. See the mouth of the transgression. What is that? The sinner. Because because sin is what the transgression of the law. Shall eat what violence. All those that come up against the men and Lord, you shall eat what violence. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead, bro. It says he that he that keepeth he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. See? Oh, oh, Go ahead, bro. It said, he that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. But he that opens wide his lips shall have destruction. Who are those that open wide their lips? All you mockers and scoffers. 
you just run off at the mouth. Like we like to say, you got diarrhea in the mouth. You can't control your tongue. You just spew out whatever madness that come out your mouth. Go. Man, this hot chocolate good. Man, the water you have watching me have a shot. Man, this hot chocolate delicious. <laughs> wow. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Matthew 18 and 15. He said, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his thoughts between thee and him alone. Uh -huh. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. See, that's why a lot of y'all get spewed out the truth, man, because we try and tell y'all transgressions to you. We come to you correcting you as a brother. But then y'all get, get butthurt and emotional to so then you want to start making videos. Now we got to bring out the truth on you. Well, a lot of times we try and keep it behind closed doors and keep it here between just you and me. You see what I'm saying? We try and, and correct you and, you know what I'm saying, and bring you up on counsel. We don't try and make it an open situation on video a lot of time, but a lot of time y'all force our arm to do it, man, because you want to be niggas. You want to act like two-thirds, unruly men. See what I'm saying? So then the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua gets upon us to now the world what? We expose y'all. See what I'm saying? But it's still out of luck because we're still rebuking you. You still got time to turn back and come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Out of righteousness and out of sincerity. Not, not using not using Yahweh Hashem Yahushua as, a, as a, a cloak of maliciousness. See what I'm saying? I'm trying to do evil to you, to the brothers, man. That's right, man. See what I'm saying? That's wickedness. That's why we call you out on your wickedness. That's why we we call you uh, devils and we call you Satan because you're acting like your father. Like I tell you, John 8 and 44, you are of your father, the devil. See what I'm saying? Because that's how you acted. What y'all got? Now, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, he huh. said, All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, ah. for correction. For what? Reproof and correction. Those are synonymous with each other. Go ahead. For instruction in righteousness. See, in righteousness. That's why we're doing this, in righteousness. Not out of wickedness, because we hate the way your gums look. Like on Boys in the Hood. I hate you because your gums is black. You know what I'm saying? No. We're not doing it for that. We're doing it out of love, man. Because we want to see Israel get saved, man. You see what I'm saying? We want to see Israel get saved. You know? I mean, yeah, we hate your ways, but shit, it turns into where we actually hate you because you turn into straight demons. You ain't trying to listen to reproof or correction. So then we hate you because you become enemies to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Like uh, King David said, do not I hate them, at, do not I hate thee, uh, do not I hate them that hate thee. You see what I'm saying? I hate them with perfect hatred. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we hate them. Why? Because they hate thee, they hate you, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They become our enemies. See what I'm saying? This is warfare, man. Go ahead. It said, this is verse 17. It said that the man, that the man of the most high may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Ain't that what we're going through? We, we striving for perfection. That we, we may be thoroughly furnished uh, thoroughly, uh, what? Uh, that we be thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That we be thoroughly furnished unto all good works. See what I'm saying? We're trying to remain blameless in this truth, man. Tell me, how about Shimei Awashai come and deliver us? Lord willing, we some of those men. Hey, we, we want the word. He ain't got no choice but to hug and embrace us. Now sit there and think about my home. Should I let you on my chariot or not? Let me see. Let me think about this for a minute. No, we wanted to be where he see us. He hurry up and open up his arms like, welcome home, little brother. I've been waiting on you. See what I'm saying? That's what we want, where he hug us and embrace us. 
Even if he give us a noogie, like a big brother do a little brother. Hey, welcome home, little brother. You know what I'm saying? Mess your hair up a little bit. Welcome home, man. That's what we want, man. That's the day that we striving for, man. That we dream about. See what I'm saying? We don't want the Lord to push us in our face. Get away from me, nigga. See what I'm saying? But that's what's gonna happen to you, to you two thirds if you don't turn from your evil ways, man. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, uh, you got something brewing over there tonight? Give me, uh, no, go ahead. You get what you're gonna get. I give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Man, it's hot, hot chocolate juice. Lord, you wonderful, man. Wow, man.